all the way to the top and hit that top plate. So I'm, that's what I really like about this. We don't have to locate any nails whatsoever. Gary also likes to install blocking for fastening the crown. This is a tip I picked up from Gary years ago, and it's a great way to make sure you always have solid nailing behind these pieces of trim, which is especially helpful when the crown molding is running the same direction as the ceiling joists above it. Once the blocking is installed around the entire room, it's time for our first length of crown. So you want to start here? Yeah, I actually want to start here because both this wall and that wall are going to splice.